Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube journey. Thank you for being here. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so if you have. Thank you. So just press the bell icon and press the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when I upload my videos. You'll be the first to know basically. So you'll be in the loop, you'll be in the little inner circle. So this video is one that I'm really excited about because we all want those um, ultimate beauty and cosmetic answers. I'm always looking for them, I'm always YouTubing them. And um, it's hard to find those answers. And, and when I did, I wanted to scream it from the YouTube rooftops and that's what I'm doing. So let me start by asking you a question. What is that one thing that all of us are looking all our lives and perhaps never find? No, 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 no not our soulmates. That's that is fine. More important than that, the perfect foundation. So guys, if you are an oily skinned girl or boy, I am an oily skinned girl in Sri Lanka, otherwise combination skin. But if you're an oily skinned girl or boy, just an oily skinned human, um, this foundation that I'm going to talk about today is the best that I have ever found in any brand that I've ever come across. And this includes all the high-end, really, really sophisticated brands, including Bobbi Brown, um, Armani. Uh, actually, Armani is really, really good. But um, yeah, Bobbi Brown, Armani, um, MAC. Although I'm not a huge fan of MAC, I have used MAC foundations. So um, I have a bit of experience in that. Then NARS, again, very, very good. Um, so these are some of the brands that I've used for foundation. And then some of the lesser known and, um, you know, sort of less expensive brands like um, Flower Beauty by um, Drew Barrymore. Uh, of course, Maybelline, your L'Oreal's. Um, they're really good. But this one this one's very special because this one is a drugstore brand it's super cheap I have access to it from Sri Lanka so do you and I will tell you how and um, so basically this one kind of changed the game for me because in Sri Lanka I find myself getting really really um, oily skinned very fast right now my skin is completely bad there's nothing on it this is my no makeup face I've just done my brows and uh, put a little bit of lippy on and a little bit of lippy on put a little bit of lippy on and um, that's it so my skin is untouched you will see um, you know there are a bit of imperfections recently I've been a little sleepless so I think I've got like a little bit of darkness around my eyes which never happens but you know so I wanted to try this foundation out with you guys and I have somewhere to be today and a few photos to take for a product endorsement so I thought let me just quickly do my face up in front of you and with you so we can um, kind of test this foundation together so what is this foundation all right so this one oh, I'm so excited this one is LA girls pro matte HD high definition long wear matte foundation this is it so lovelies, I am so thrilled with this. So as um, a testament to how good this is, I'm not gonna put primer on to kind of mattify in any way. And I'm gonna go straight in with this and I'm gonna dab just a tad bit because like I said, I have an aversion to foundation, but if I put it on, it's a very, very tiny bit. So don't judge me for my lack of application skills, guys, because I'm not a makeup artist and I don't intend yeah. to be. Try this on on my skin. Let's do one side first so uh, we can see the difference as well. There are imperfections on my face, guys. Just, um, yeah, we're gonna try and see if it covers it all as well. That's one side and already really well covered, really well mattified. A bit more. 
So I'm using the color light tan. I feel like I could go lighter because I bought it online. It was a risk, but it's so cheap that you can actually kind of, um, you know, experiment with the color if you're buying online, especially, and just sort of see um, what works for you. I might get the lighter one as well and just mix the two in my, in the future when I try to use it. I have gotten a little dark after I went out on my birthday trip and uh, got a little sunburn, but that's okay. It's part of tropical living, isn't it? So lovelies, that is my very haphazard application of the foundation. And that's what that looks like. And I'm gonna top it off. It's already so matte, like there's no oil on my skin. I love it so much. I'm gonna to top it off with my NYX um, banana powder, which is the HD finishing powder. I do love this one. All right. So that's that, that's the look. Oh, it's so brilliant when you find that one foundation that just works and it's great for day wear because it's so damn cheap. Of course with day wear you do need to keep repurchasing it so it's good if it's a really good product for a affordable price. Um, this one I think ticks all the boxes for me. I can easily say out of the many, many foundations that I've tried from different brands across the board, um, this one is really, really, really good and probably the best for oily skin that I've experienced. So hands down, found my soulmate in the foundation world and I'm really excited to share that with you. So I hope this helped guys. I wanted to make a really fun video that is, um, you know, to the point and tell you, you know, that absolute one product that I just can't live without and this one's really uh, going to be a favorite. So um, that's that and um, all right, so I'm off to do some work today and um, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay blessed, stay happy, stay smiling and I bye.